Hello, how's everybody doing today? Um, I couldn't call in earlier because uh, I was very busy and uh, I had just finished a, a, um, an interview with Carrie Rivera uh, for this coming Sunday show. Um, she's a renowned autism specialist and uh, she's going to give us some very good information about the use of CD or chlorine dioxide um, as an effective treatment for autism and for a number of other ailments. ailments. Um, so that's Kerry, K-E-R-R-I, Rivera. And uh, you can find her online at www.cdautism.com. Um, it was a very good interview. You're going to hear it this Sunday when the show comes on. And uh, yeah, and now I'm going to be interviewing, I'm going to do another show uh, that's going to air later. I'm going to be interviewing uh, Camille Leon who is the president of the Holistic Chamber of Commerce. So we're going to take a little bit of a, a divergence from uh, speaking about holistic health to address other holistic health practitioners. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm shooting two shows today. Thanks a lot for joining. Yeah, I'm going to have to sign out now. Cool. If you guys have any questions for the show, just type them in. And um, I'll try to work them in. Uh, Camille Leon is a, is a show that's coming up, and it's about the Holistic Chamber of Commerce. And I'm also the president of the Upland chapter of the Holistic Chamber of Commerce. So if anyone lives in the Inland Empire or in the area of Upland, then they would like to um, uh, consider joining the Holistic Chamber. I recommend going to www.holisticchamberofcommerce forward slash Upland, U-P-L-A-N-D. Um, there are a lot of benefits to being a chamber member, um, but uh, there are also a few unique benefits to being a member of my chapter, the Upland chapter of the Holistic Chamber, in that you can participate in Holistic Health Sundays Every Sunday, it's a health fair that takes place right in front of the Biomed RX Health Center, uh, 916 North Mountain Avenue, uh, Suite D1 in Upland, California. And um, every Sunday from noon, or well, from 11 until 6 p.m. And you can also appear here on Biomed RX Radio with me uh, as a guest, and you can talk about uh, what it is that you do as a holistic health practitioner and uh, the things that. Uh, that you have to offer. So I would recommend if you are a holistic health practitioner to go ahead and consider joining the Holistic Chamber of Commerce. So thank you very much. I just wanted to let y'all know that I haven't forgotten about you. Um, I have been using chlorine dioxide for the past uh, two, three days, and I feel great. You probably noticed my face is thinner. Um, I'm... Uh, Hi, Vanna. How are you? Uh, I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm really detoxifying my body. Um, look it up. Chlorine dioxide. It's not chlorine be bleach. Um, it's chlorine dioxide. It's a different, it's totally different chemical structure, totally different molecular structure. And uh, it's good stuff. It's not only effective with autism, it's effective with a lot of other illnesses that people have. Yeah, that's me so light. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And hopefully lightweight, right? <laughs> I'm losing weight a little bit. Um, going to be going to uh, Philadelphia and picking up my beautiful daughter, Katie. Um, she's going to be moving here and uh, working with me at the Biomed RX Health Center. Uh, we're going to be studying um, the Master Energy Healing certification and uh, kind of getting her started in the holistic health care business as well and uh, I'm really looking forward to it actually what we're going to end up doing is um, we're going to probably um, shoot a documentary I'm going to fly up to Philadelphia with Kai and uh, and um, we're going to end up driving from Philadelphia back here to United States, I mean, back here to California. Now, hopefully I can make it 
to Chicago the first night, I think that'll probably be the long night, right? If I can, it's about an eight hour drive. If I can make it from Philadelphia to to Chicago, then we can get on, uh, oh, wonderful. Uh, then we can get on Route 66, right? And we can kind of take our time. This is why I'm shooting two shows today because I want to have the backup show to air while I'm out of town. Um, I don't think I want to try to make it back in one week, you know, driving across the United States, especially, you know, with my kids and it's their first time uh, doing a cross country drive. So I want to take my time. This is a beautiful country. I love America, America the beautiful. And uh, there's a lot to see, you know, so I'm kind of making a little mental map in my mind. Uh, Chicago, um, KC, got to see both sides of KC, Kansas City. Um, St. Louis, we have family in St. Louis, uh, so maybe I can uh, visit some of my cousins in St. Louis. Um, now, from St. Louis, where will we go? We could either go north uh, toward Colorado, if it's not too cold, or we can take the southern route uh, toward El Paso, El Paso, Texas. And uh, if we do that, then we may take a detour and uh, visit uh, my best friend, Terry Brown, who's down there in, uh, in Dallas, in the Dallas area. So I don't know, Terry, I'm coming and I'm bringing my kids. So have food. <laughs> anyway, uh, then we'll probably end up driving, um, I don't know, uh, what is it gonna be? Uh, New Mexico. Albuquerque. Yeah. Yeah. We can't forget to make that left turn at Albuquerque. We don't want to make the same mistake that uh, Bugs Money made after so many years, uh, over, over the years. And, uh, and then into Arizona. You know, the first time I was doing that cross country drive, I was driving through Arizona and it was right about sundown. And, um, I looked on the side of the road and there were, re they, they were literally road runners running on the road. I couldn't believe it. And as the sun went down, I uh, I saw the orange sky and I saw these beautiful vertical rock formations. And and it, it dawned on me. I was like, wow, so this is a real place. This is where Roadrunner takes place in the state of Arizona. I didn't, I had no idea all my life. I thought that was just some fictional place where there were tall rocks that people could fall off and poof, hit the ground and still be okay. But yeah, America is a very beautiful place. Maybe we can stop by the uh, Grand Canyon on the way in and, and uh, come by. But So I'm um, sorry I couldn't have you guys uh, for the show. Um, I really appreciate you joining me and uh, I really appreciate you guys being an audience for Biomed RX Radio and for Biomed RX um, altogether. And um, stay tuned. Okay, listen to us every Sunday at noon on AM 590 if you live uh, east of Los Angeles in the state, in the state of California. Uh, and, uh, or you can listen to us online at www.am590theanswer.com. And while I'm at it, um, you guys need vitamins. You guys need vitamins and supplements, all right? So you can find excellent natural vitamins and supplements online at www.biomedrxsupplements.com. That's B-I-O-M-E-D-R-X supplements.com. Okay. Uh, don't forget to, uh, you can buy some vitamins for your sweetheart um, for Valentine's Day or for my friends and family in New Orleans. Uh, you can buy some vitamins to kind of uh, stave off that hangover from uh, Mardi Gras um, or you can buy some vitamins to add a little bit of uh, nourishment to your diet um, of po' boys and king cake which I really miss both right now I really miss New Orleans right now um, and uh, so yeah I don't want to just keep talking to keep you guys going and five minutes um, we're going to have Miss Leon on and we're going to be shooting the next show.
That was a wonderful interview with uh, Miss Rivera, um, Carrie, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good show. It's gonna be a very popular show. Kind of going out there a little bit, but anyway, I highly recommend um, buying some MMS. You can get it for thirty bucks. It's not expensive at all. Uh, it's it's cheap, okay, and it's good stuff. It is a, uh, I believe it's sodium chloride and ascorbic acid. It's a combination. You mix one drop of each. You start with one drop, right? They're going to react with each other. And it's going to turn from clear like water to a yellowish, brownish color. And then you just pour a glass of water on top, drink it down, and it feels really good. Uh, it's very good for you. And... Uh, it, it detoxes and cleanses you and most importantly it's very effective when it comes to treating uh, autism we just have about four minutes like I said if you guys have any questions Feel free to type them in, and I'll uh, I'll make sure to uh, mention them to Miss Leon uh, in our show about the holistic chamber of commerce. Oh, definitely, Elisa. I will. I will definitely ring you a keychain. You know, that's the thing about Route sixty six, right? We can stop at all of the different places and uh, pick up some souvenirs. That's probably what we're going to end up doing. We're going to uh, document and accumulate, document and accumulate across the country, right? And uh, you know, I actually, you know, the Biomed RX Health Center is located on Route sixty six. Believe it or not, um, Chicago to L.A., right? That's Route 66. Foothill Boulevard, where the Biomed RX Health Center is located, is actually deep down inside. Uh, it is Route, six, Route 66. It is the historic Route 66. Uh, hi, Carrie. Thank you for joining us on the show. It was a wonderful show that we had with you uh, today. I can't wait until um, it airs this Sunday, and uh, the show that we're doing with Miss Camille Leon that we're about to start recording in a couple of minutes um, is probably going to air um, in uh, on the, the week of the twenty fourth, I believe, of uh, March, because I'm going to be going to pick up my daughter uh, from Philly, and we're going to be driving back, so may take me more than a week, probably will take more than a week. So we we'll have a great show to put on. I'm not afraid of controversy. Um, not afraid of anything really. And uh, I will definitely uh, tell you how things work with me. I have been taking uh, chlorine dioxide uh, for the past three days. I got it Friday. And uh, I feel great. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed my face thinning out. I'm losing a lot of uh, inflammation and uh, a lot of water weight gain. Um, my body feels really good, uh, really clean. Um, and yeah, I mean, people have to take the autism treatment into their own hands. Uh, we have to do it. And uh, if you love your child, you have to intervene early and uh, try to do your best to give them a, uh, a happy and, and fruitful life, um, to be self, uh, self-sufficient as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, things are going well. Things are going well. I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, I never mentioned that we speak Spanish. También hablamos el español en el Biometrics Health Center. Por los que no hablan el inglés, no se preocupen. Se pueden uh, 
recibir los servicios del Biometrics Health Center en el español. No pasa nada. Hi Tammy, hi Lynette, how are you? Yes, thank you, Carrie. Thanks again. This is going to be a good show. This is going to be a really good show. A good episode of the show. Okay, let's see. Has Miss Leon called in? Has it rang, huh? Okay, let me see if I can find her online. Actually, I'm probably going to have to handle this, so I'm going to end this broadcast. I've only got one uh, device here. Thanks a lot for joining. Bye.